for black girl nerds. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. You guys are tasked with, you have a tremendous task with this show. It's such a strong woman-driven show and you are the men who are there to give us a, the little balance that we need. Right, right. It's, uh, it, yeah, it's challenging, um, which I thought it was gonna be more challenging when I showed up when it was a set of women. Uh, not that I didn't know what it was before, but to actually see it, it's just like, okay. Here we go. And they're teenagers and but young women in the show. I mean young teenagers in the show. But um it's 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 definitely good to work with good people. Mm-hmm. And if it was because I've been in you know different situations where it was just Jesus, when is this is gonna end? <laughs> you know what I mean? So but um, you know, working with David and the uh, women on the show was it was cool. I I, I must admit, I, you know, they remind me of me when I was young in the business uh, and they were just so eager to get on set and do good work and it shows in the show what's fascinating for your characters you know the the young ladies on the show they're weather beaten and sunburnt and in the sand and they're doing all that but david you guys kind of get some respite from that compared to them because you're in the lab or the hub or whatever that's right. that is yeah that's right i i i brought my uh i brought my 50 spf sunscreen in a suitcase and i never have had to pull it out Cause yeah, they, they, the, the girls, they, they were the ones, you know, I bet for them the first few days, it's like, whoa, we get to shoot on the beach. This is amazing. And then after like day three, day four, it's like, wait, we only shoot on the beach. So yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty tough for them, but for us, yeah, we, you know, we're, we're, we're in the, uh, we're in the FBI headquarters. We're in the, you know, we're down in the, in the basement, uh, trying to get to the truth. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was nice in there. Nice and cool. Nice and comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Well, quite- this is such, you know, what's it's so fascinating because we have an idea of what we think it is, but whenever you two gentlemen appear on screen, there's such an air of mystery and it, mm-hmm. it's spooky and a little bit daunting. Troy, how would you describe your character, Agent Dean? He has like some empathy and he's very different from everyone else there. He's not so robotic in his relationship with the young women. So um, it's interesting because when I first... Um, I uh, got the role. I didn't really know what my character was about until maybe episode four or five or something like that. Mm-hmm. And it kind of left me in limbo to kind of where to take this character a little bit. So when I was, when I was, um, when, when it was brought to my attention of what my character background was pretty much going to be, I was, I, I was elated because that kind of shows a different side of the sternness that you see early on. So it kind of gives um, it kind of gives some concept to what Dean is all about. Um, uh, he's he's not as a hard ass as you would think that he is. Um, hopefully, in season two, we kind of explore that a little bit. There wasn't enough real estate to kind of get every character, you know, um, um, stuff together. So um, we'll see more of his um, journey um, next season. So. Yeah, it's it's it was nice. It was just nice to see um, some depth, some hills, some valleys that I can kind of roll through, and that you would you wouldn't really know until ten, episode ten. So right, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And David, with your character, very much the intellect, but not bland. Definitely not bland. And in a cast where so many, there are so many people, you like Troy your characters are also very memorable and very pivotal pivotal to the storytelling. What is the best part of playing a character like uh, Daniel? Well, uh, like people in general, you don't really know what they're all about until you really get to know them. And what's great about this show is even with the girls, you find out something new about them every episode. And like, when you find out that piece of information, you're like, Oh, I didn't see that. So what's great about, you know, Faber is, is you don't really know what's going on with him. Like, is he an ally? Is he an enemy? Is he there to help? Is he there to manipulate? Is he there to, you know, uh, make them feel comfortable? Is he there to, you know, make them feel uncomfortable? Like you, you don't really know what's going on with him. And, and I, I think that that's fun. I think that's a, a, that's the kind of characters that I love to play. That's the kind of characters I love to watch where you're just not quite sure what's going on with that person. And it makes you could just kind of, you're drawn in and you have to like know more about them. So it's fun for me. Yeah, absolutely. 
Thank you, gentlemen. Loved your roles. Both of you were exceptional and I'm excited for people to see it so I can talk about it with some people. Cool. Thank you, Jandra. Yes, Thank for you. word. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.